Leonardo DiCaprio and Tom Cruise are two iconic Hollywood figures who have truly made their mark. Their big screen performances brought them great success, accumulating considerable fortunes along the way. Today, we will explore their stunning properties, dissect their impressive collections of cars and watches, review their movie earnings, and unveil the net worth that solidifies their positions in the echelons of Hollywood's financial elite. Get ready for the showdown of millions the clash of lifestyles. It's Leonardo DiCaprio versus Tom Cruise. Let's get started. Round one, car collection. Let's cruise through the Hollywood highways, exploring the luxurious rides in Leonardo DiCaprio and Tom Cruise's car collections. Leonardo DiCaprio's garage showcases an eco-friendly flair with the Lexus RX Hybrid, a stylish choice with a turbocharged engine priced at $46,200. The sleek black Tesla Model S, valued at $77,400, effortlessly combines safety features with all-electric prowess. Embracing sustainable living, DiCaprio adopted a Polestar 2, a mid-sized battery electric vehicle costing $34,000. Serving as the brand ambassador for Fisker Automotive, he was the first to own the electric Fisker Karma, a luxury symbol with a price tag of $102,000. For thrills, Leonardo rides in a Porsche Cayenne S, a sports SUV priced at $77,400. But the two jewels in his garage are undoubtedly the Tesla Roadster, a technological masterpiece valued at $200,000, and the luxurious Range Rover SV Autobiography, probably the most prestigious of the British manufacturer's SUVs, priced at $215,000. Tom Cruise, on the other hand, navigates the streets with an impressive collection, including a Bugatti Veyron priced at $1,900,000. This rare ride with a W16 engine and over 1,000 horsepower is a statement of sophistication and speed. The vintage charm of a 1970 Chevrolet Chevelle SS in his collection adds a touch of timeless design, reportedly costing him $32,000. Tom also owns a 1958 Chevrolet Corvette C1, a 1976 Dodge Colt, and a magnificent 1949 Buick Roadmaster, which he bought for $33,000, so there's no lack of taste. For family-oriented drives, Cruz opted for a 2000 Ford Excursion, a nine-seater SUV with a price tag of $70,000. He also treasures the elegance of German cars, including the famous Porsche 928 starting at $38,000, the mighty Mercedes-Benz CLK 200 valued at $53,000, and the breathtaking 1996 Porsche 993 with a starting price of $63,750. Add to all these beauties a Ford Mustang Celine S, 281 worth $60,000, and a Mercedes-Benz S-Class worth $110,000, and you've got yourself a showroom. Round two, watch collection. Let's take a closer look at the wristwear choices of the two Hollywood heavyweights as we delve into their impressive watch collections. DiCaprio's wrist game showcases a tasteful selection from renowned brands such as Rolex, Cartier, Patek Philippe, and Tag Heuer. One of the crowning pieces in his collection is the legendary Rolex Daytona Paul Newman, one of the most expensive vintage watches, with a starting price of $250,000. The other jewel in the crown is the Patek Philippe Nautilus Tiffany, with its turquoise blue dial, estimated at $52,000. Both are rare and highly sought after. As an ambassador for Tag Heuer for over a decade, DiCaprio not only wears their watches, but actively promotes the brand's values of passion, pioneering spirit, and performance. This collaboration has birthed an exquisite timepiece, the limited edition Tag Heuer Leonardo DiCaprio Link Calibra 16 Chronograph. This navy blue lacquered dial beauty, signed by DiCaprio on the smoked sapphire case back, was only released in 2,000 pieces. Let's not forget the Tag Heuer Carrera Calibra 1887, priced at $5,400 and its black dial variant. Tom Cruise's watch collection reflects his diverse taste and penchant for iconic timepieces. 
from the $7,700 Porsche Design Chronograph 1, worn in Top Gun Maverick, to the sophisticated $6,000 Bremont ALT-1C, Tom's collection is a blend of elegance and bold designs. His Cartier Chronograph, valued at around $8,000, and the Cartier Santos, retailing at $8,200, add a touch of sophistication. Cruz's preference for limited editions is evident in the Jacob and Amp Company Epic 2 Chronograph, priced around $12,000, and the sought-after Rolex Daytona Panda, valued at $14,300. Cruz's collection also boasts the Rolex Skydweller, priced around $25,000, the magnificent Rolex GMT Master II Pepsi in white gold, priced at $50,000, and the sublime Vacheron Constantine Overseas Perpetual Calendar Ultra Thin, valued at approximately $102,000. In this horological showdown, DiCaprio and Cruz not only display their taste for luxury, but also reveal a glimpse of their personalities through the intricate artistry adorning their wrists. Round 3. Properties in 1998, Leonardo DiCaprio embarked on his real estate journey with a $1.8 million oceanfront home in Malibu, which he reportedly sold in 2021 for a cool $10.3 million, laying the foundation for a lucrative portfolio. Leonardo has truly made his mark in Malibu, owning not one or two, but three magnificent properties. The latest addition to his luxurious collection is a stunning oceanfront house acquired in 2021 for an impressive $13.8 million. One of his crown jewels is a 104-acre private island in Belize named Blackador K, acquired in 2005 for $1.75 million. This island is not just a property. It's an ambitious project envisioning an eco-friendly resort, a testament to DiCaprio's commitment to sustainable living. Next, we are transported to DiCaprio's $5.2 million Palm Springs getaway, a modernist marvel nestled in the desert. This stunning property offers breathtaking mountain views and a seamless indoor-outdoor living experience. With six bedrooms, seven bathrooms, a guest house, a refreshing swimming pool, two saunas, a tennis court, this residence truly has it all. Our journey continues with a glimpse into DiCaprio's $10 million Beverly Hills abode. This 5,000 square foot property effortlessly blends vintage charm with modern elegance, creating the perfect harmony of timeless beauty and contemporary style. Leo's journey has been nothing short of remarkable. Thanks to sound decisions, he has managed to accumulate not just one, but a dozen properties over the years, most of them in Southern California and New York, testifying to his extraordinary success in the world of real estate. On the other hand, Tom's properties reflect a multifaceted lifestyle. The journey begins with a tour of Cruz's palatial Beverly Hills estate, purchased for $30.5 million in 2007 and sold for $38 million in 2016. This sprawling mansion spans over 10,000 square feet and features seven bedrooms, nine bathrooms, a tennis court, a swimming pool, lush gardens, and breathtaking city views. With its grandiose architecture, this Hollywood mega mansion truly embodies luxury. Next, we head to Telluride, Colorado, where Cruz owns a secluded retreat nestled in the majestic Rocky Mountains. Sold in 2021 for the beautiful sum of $39.5 million, the 320-acre property served as a sanctuary for the actor, offering him total privacy and serenity. The main house features a rustic yet elegant design, with exposed wooden beams, stone fireplaces, and floor-to-ceiling windows that showcase the stunning mountain views. The property features seven bedrooms and nine bathrooms, a huge rustic kitchen, a gym, a games room, and much more. His real estate story also includes a $3 million 10th the 8th floor condo in New York City's East Village, sold in 2013, and a multi-residence property in Hollywood Hills, fetching $11.4 million in 2015. Additionally, his 2018 foray into the Florida real estate scene, 
included an $11.8 million investment in a Clearwater condo complex, where he snapped up a sumptuous penthouse. It's not just about square footage and opulence, it's about financial acumen, diverse investments, and the fascinating tales these properties whisper about the Hollywood giants. Round four, movie earnings and net worth. Leo's strategic prowess isn't limited to real estate. His movie earnings tell a tale of savvy negotiations. While his base salary for Titanic was a modest $2.5 million, his foresight in securing back end points resulted in a staggering $40 million windfall. This trend continued throughout his career, commanding impressive paychecks ranging from $1 million for The Basketball Diaries to an eye-watering $59 million for Inception in 2010. Other hits such as Gangs of New York, Catch Me If You Can, and The Wolf of Wall Street bolstered his cash position with revenues of 10, 20, and $25 million respectively. Leonardo DiCaprio, the multifaceted actor, producer, philanthropist, and environmental activist, has amassed a staggering net worth of $300 million. His journey to financial success intricately weaves into his illustrious film career, marked by iconic performances and lucrative deals. Tom Cruise's journey to financial stardom saw a steady ascent in earnings. Beginning with a modest $50,000 for TAPS in 1983, he soared to a commanding $75 million for Mission Impossible 3. Bonuses included. He also received substantial income from hits, such as Interview with the Vampire and The Last Samurai. 15 and $25 million respectively. But his biggest earners were undeniably the staggering $100 million for the two blockbusters, Mission Impossible 2 and War of the Worlds, which includes his salary plus bonus. His role not only as an actor, but also as a producer in Top Gun Maverick is a brilliant strategic move. Cruz negotiated a base salary of $13 million, coupled with a share of the film's first dollar gross revenue as a producer. If the film grosses $1 billion, Cruz stands to earn approximately $60 million, illustrating a shrewd approach to box office revenue. Tom Cruise, the charismatic American actor and producer, stands as one of Hollywood's wealthiest figures with a net worth of $600 million. His movies collectively raked in a jaw-dropping $9.5 billion at the global box office, solidifying his status as one of the highest paid and most successful celebrities worldwide. In the realm of Hollywood finance, it's not just about the dollars, but the stories these numbers tell. It's about making shrewd financial moves, leaving a legacy, and contributing to causes that matter. DiCaprio and Cruz, each with their unique journey, have proven that success and ambition go hand in hand. If you've enjoyed this financial face-off, don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe for more in-depth explorations of the lives, fortunes, and legacies of your favorite stars. Catch you in the next one, luxury lovers.